Yo, what's going on, guys? In today's video, I'm basically going to show you my favorite 1v1 starts to do when you're versing good opponents or just want to get like, good clips. And these starts will help you. Especially, and they're going to be in order from 1 to 5. One's going to be like the least effective one, but it's still effective. And number 5 is going to be like the most effective. So the first one is basically just infinite night game. So literally, if you just do this over your opponent, you can get them like, right there and do that. Edit a wall and do that. Alright, I'll do a fast pace now. What it'll look like. So basically if you're getting a start, you know your opponent's probably gonna do something like this like two nineties maybe. But if you do that, your opponent will be right there. And you just have to just crank basically. And look how much faster that is, just to do that. Alright, so basically that's that's beginning like what I started to do when I just started one of the Now since it got a lot better, I can do different ones now. Alright, so the second best one to do is you just do this and comb and then just start 90. And if your opponent's like right there, you wait for him right here and then edit it on him. That's all you have to do. It's really the easiest one to do because here I'll I'll build like what it'll look like for your opponent when they're building up here. Alright, so they're gonna be right there. And just say you're just sitting in here with the cone, you know, just standing here. They're gonna be running up, you edit that, place a cone or whatever you need to do to get the kill. That's literally that's high ground start one. Number two, I can't talk. Alright, the second one is a really good one that I recommend a lot of people do. Alright, so what you wanna do? Wow. Alright, so what you want to do is basically you just want to crank. And when you do that, just stop and like do that. Because you get up an extra layer on your opponent. Because in reality, your opponent's probably going to just be like this. And meanwhile, you're over there behind you just doing that. And you get like oh, two layers above your opponent, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's basically it. That's all you have to do for that one. Alright, so we take number four. This is like probably the most effective thing you can do when you do your um, 1v1 start. Alright, so what you want to do is basically you do this and then you look at the cone. Or, hold on, hold on, this is supposed to be. Alright, so you do that. Boom. And then you can edit them down or something and like pump them. It's like the simplest thing to do here I'll show it with a gun so that'll be easier to show. Alright, so what you do is you do this, then you like hold on, let me go over here, there's like no boom, boom, and then you're gonna do that there and you can just like one pop it. It's really easy to do, honestly. And if you guys wanna one v one me maybe and if you want me to show you how to do replays like just play with me, I'll just type your epic in the comments and I'll respond to you at least in a day's time. Alright, so for retake number five, I saw Raider 464 do this. I'll do it in slow motion. Alright, so you go like that. You build a wall behind you. You look. Okay, that's not what you do. What am I doing? Hold on. I was gonna hold it and retake. Alright, so what you do is you do your 90s, okay? Oh my god, am I doing Alright, so then when your opponent's here, I'll just go over here. When your opponent's building at you, it's gonna be like that. Alright, you have to be a layer above them though for this to work. Alright, so they'll be up here. You you look back, jump, place a floor and a cone, and you edit them down and you get an easy pump. So it'll look like this, kind of. Alright, so you wanna go for this floor though, because it'll break it. If you edit it like this, it won't break and they can catch themselves. Then you just get the pump up. That's really it. That's all you have to do. And now I'm going to show you my top three favorite 90s to do off-star. That will guarantee you high ground if you can do, if you play in a high sense or just have really good 90s. Alright, so what, number one is you just, just those. These are really fast. You know, Chronic Psycho does these. And they're really fast. You just have to get used to the timing of when you do it. Alright, so that's basically the first one. I'll show it slower so, so you can see it a little bit better. 
Alright, so what you do is you just look, you want to get on this side, okay? So that way you don't, like, fall off. Like that. See, that's why you want to stay inside. Or else this is what's going to happen. You're going to do this, and then you're going to, like, just mess up, or, like, just slow down a little bit. Or you can do it no jump, too. That's also really fast. Speaking of no jump, the next one I'm going to do is no jump 90s, which a year ago, Nikkei 30, posted like a Twitter clip or something of him doing it. But it's actually really fast as I jump. Okay, okay, I'm just going to do this one, because I actually did it. Alright, so what you're going to do is, for the, for the first 90, or the second 90s, what you want to do, boom, 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 boom. And what this does is it gives you more space and you get to block yourself off. But if you do this before your opponent's gonna think you're gonna be like easy shots. But then when you do this, you block yourself way better. And also in my opinion it's like the fastest I do, but it's not the most effective. And then we like this. Alright, so basically the next one, number three, is no jump 90. So what you're gonna do is you want to be like right here when you do it that way if you're in the middle you're gonna like basically run up like this like that like that that's what you're gonna do so what you want to do is go to this right here how do you do it you want to run against the wall that's literally what you want to do you just want to run against the wall that way the opponent cannot shoot you when you do it because it will be really hard to block if you're doing this. It'll just be really hard to hit you. So the next one I have to do is another no jump 90, but it's far more faster. So what you want to do is, dude, I'm lagging, okay? Don't yell at me. All right, so you, and also I just started doing this one, so I might mess up a little bit. But what you, I'll do it slow because I can't really do it fast, but you want to go like, to, again you want to go like where the wall would have been, but it's not there, but if you do this, or you can do it without placing the wall, but it's harder to do it like that. Alright, alright, so that's number four, I think, yeah, number four, wait, that was five, that'll do six, because this next one. It's probably the fastest you could do. You go like this, or you're supposed to jump, I guess. You're supposed to jump, but what you do is you just do this, but you place a wall up here. You edit your code in your floor. You do that, and then jump up another layer, and then you get like free height. Because if you do this, boom! Don't mess up like anything else. You're gonna lose. And then what you want to do is just after you do a couple 90s and you have height, just keep doing that for a couple layers. And then when your opponent's building up, you just go for like easy pump shot. Like that. It's really easy. It's really easy, honestly. And that's my tips for this video. If you guys want more videos like this, drop a like, subscribe, and um, I'll be making more of these if you want them. And next time I'll actually get like one of my friends to one you one so I can show you these actually work. But these after you like master the nineties, it'll be really <laughs>